Melvin from HairTransplantNetwork.com. Today I want to talk to you guys about Brizula, aka CBO301 or Clascaterone. Phase 3 clinical trials were set for this year. However, due to the pandemic, the trials have been delayed until possibly 2022. I spoke to Dr. Rocha of Houston, Texas, who has an excellent blog on his site, and here's what he had to say on Brizula becoming a possible alternative to Propecia. What are your thoughts on Brizula? Do you think it's something that's going to replace finasteride? Well, uh, I, I don't know exactly if it's going to replace, but I think it's promising. Uh, there were only uh, uh, up to phase two uh, uh, trial. Uh, we're still waiting for the data from phase three uh, conducted in Italy. Uh, there were 400 men in, in the study and, and they were divided into, it was placebo control and there was a, a like a quarter receiving like 2.5 BID, uh, another quarter 5%, and then a quarter 7.5% uh, uh, once a day and 7.5% twice a day. The benefit derived, the decreased hair loss, uh, was more marked in the 5% and the 7.5%. And it was like uh, those proportional to those. Uh, and it worked uh, quickly within three months in the higher concentration uh, preparation. Uh, the lower concentration took six months to be positive. Uh, so to get the increase in caliber uh, within three months, you had to use the 7.5 twice a day. Mm. So, the, so it's sort of going to be like a, like a minoxidil type, but, but I guess... The way it works is that it, it occupies the androgen receptor so that the DHT can't bind to the hair follicle, right? It, yeah, so it's an anti-androgen and it blocks the DHT androgen receptor on the uh, uh, follicles. Perfect, yeah. So it's sort of like the only treatment supposedly that's going to be working locally, right? Because finasteride removes it from the body, but this would just be blocking it at your hair. Locally. Right. Yeah. So, so there were no negative uh, uh, side effects reported with it. So uh, it might be an alternative uh, um, to, to using finasteride or maybe something else in addition. So how does Brazula work? A simple explanation is that it blocks the androgen receptor responsible for hair loss. Normally, DHT would bind to these receptors and gradually shrink the hair follicles. When applied to the skin, Brizula penetrates and reaches the androgen receptors within the hair follicle sebaceous glands. There is no evidence yet regarding the systemic absorption of Brizula when applied topically. Here's an illustration of the mechanism of action. So what is the difference between finasteride and Brizula? Finasteride and Brizula are both anti-androgens. However, finasteride works by inhibiting the 5-alpha reductase enzyme responsible for converting testosterone to DHT. So essentially, it's inhibiting your hormones. Conversely, Brizula works at the receptor level, binding to the receptors that DHT would normally attach to so it doesn't inhibit your hormones. For those of us who have suffered from side effects, that's a game changer. The good news is the drug has been FDA approved at 1% for acne treatment under the drug name Win Levi. With the current trajectory, I think we're looking at phase three trials in 2022 and hopefully FDA approval in 2023 or 2024 at the latest. I want to end this by inviting you guys to our forum, the Hair Restoration Network. See genuine hair transplant transformations and medication transformations with hair loss protocols. Guys, cut past the hype and find out what really works.